and we welcome you here to Myerstown as we get set to go. Last game of the season, and it's between Garden Spot and Elko as we are just a few moments away from kickoff and getting this last game on the season started. Of course, there are playoff games being played tonight and this weekend. This is not. This is just a regular season game between these two. Elko had a game against Susquehanna scheduled at the beginning of the season. Got pushed back to the end of the year due to COVID. Uh, and Susquehanna made playoffs. Elko did not. Therefore, Elko needed a, a dancing partner for tonight. And they got one in Garden Spot. So that's what we've got uh, on a lineup here for tonight. And uh, once teams are done stretching, ready to go, we'll get the national anthem from the band. And we will get set to go here for Myerstown. Great to have you with us. Jacob Pitts here with you for the call. Should be a lot of fun tonight. Last game at home on the season. The uh, band is all huddled together here on the track, partly for warmth, and then the other part, of course, for the anthem. As uh, Rangers are almost done. You can see them there on your screen. Getting together one last time. All right, Raiders are ready. And now, just about now, or are we going to do the coin toss first? Looks like we're doing the coin toss first. Out come the captains. Four for Garden Spot. You've got eight for Elko. And uh, they'll all get together here. Find out who's getting the ball first. All right, so Elko will receive the opening kick. It will be moving from right to left on your screen once we get going. So the opening kickoff will be from Garden Spot. They will be going left to right whenever they have the football. So they'll all run back to the sideline. And now it's time for the National Anthem. Under the direction of David Fair, the Elko Raider Marching Band. If I happen to be a veteran or an active service person, we encourage you to give a hand salute. Play ball. All righty. All right, Elko's out there ready to go. You've got Jackson Groy and Mitchell Frederick back for the Raiders. 
and ready to kick the football away here for the Spartans. The garden spot will be number 14, I believe, should be, yes, Walker Martin. Don't want to get ahead of myself, but he's the only man listed as a kicker on the roster. Turns his back, sure enough it is. So here we go. For the last time this season, Friday Night Lights here from Myerstown. Glad you're with us. Let's have some fun. Kickoff underway. Kick goes all the way back to Frederick. He takes it inside the five-yard line. Brings it out and gets dragged down at about the 18-yard line. Colin Whitmer to bring down Frederick. And out will come the Raider offense. On the season, a lot of running. Just south of 3,000 rushing yards on the season. Only 280 yards through the air. The average just under 300 yards a game on this season. First play, man in motion, it's Frederick. They pitch it out to Frederick. He'll come over to the near side, try and break through a tackle, and he gets dragged down, gets pushed backward. We'll see where they mark him with forward progress. Aiden McLeod there to help bring him down. They'll give him about three, and it'll be second down and seven. Frederick, 16 carries, 79 yards on the ground. No touchdowns. He has not caught a pass. Passing-wise, Cole Thomas, the only one to sling the football around, a 14 for 23 on the year, 280 yards, two touchdowns, and two picks. Second down and about six. This is Thomas on a keeper who gets dragged down after picking up a few. Tyler Hurst to make the stop, third down and two, maybe three. We'll give him third down and three here. We'll see what the Raiders do here on third down and short. From their own 26-yard line, they need to get just short of the 30-yard line. Motion, it's Frederick. They hand it off to Frederick, going to the far side. He gets stuffed. He will not get there. Aiden McLeod, Blake Weaver also in there to help stop Frederick from getting to the line. Fourth down and one. And now it's question time here for Bob Miller. What do you do? I know it's early on in the game. Cole Thomas also serves as the punter. So we won't really know until they line up what the plan is. Fourth down and one. And it looks like they might go for this. Thomas under center. On the keeper. He will get there. So Cole Thomas picks up the first down. Cullen Whitmer wraps him up. And the Raiders get their first first down on the night. From the 31-yard line is where the Raiders will continue this drive. <laughs> Thomas on the ground, 146 carries, 814 yards, 16 touchdowns on the ground. Man in motion here, Frederick again. They hand this off. That was the big man, Luke Williams, on the carry. Colin Whitmer on the stop. Luke Williams, 209 carries coming into tonight. 1,292 yards, 12 touchdowns this season. Second down and five. Frederick in motion again. 
They hand it off to Luke Williams, who grinds forward to the 39-yard line. Similar position, third down and two. Reed Gruber, Blake Weaver there to bring him down. Third down and two. Eight minutes to play in the first quarter. Frederick in motion. They hand it off. Ball is out. Garden Spot thinks they have it. Let's see. It is Garden Spot football. Coming up with it, I believe, is 54 Reed Gruber. That is the 20th fumble on the year for Elko. That's the eighth one that they have lost. And Garden Spot sets up shop with good field position just shy of the Elko 35-yard line. And out will come the offense now for Garden Spot. One receiver either side. Man in motion, that's Sadowski. Here's the pass over the middle, pass is caught. Harding threw it, this is caught by Joel Martin. And he will dance it down close to a first down and they will move the sticks, first down. Williams on the stop. Two receivers up high. You got two down low as well here for Harding. Man in motion. That's Nagel. Flag before they get this play off the ground. And the Raiders celebrating. They think they got something here. False start on the offense. That'll back them up five yards. It'll be first down and now 15. 7.06 to play. So now first down and 15. Here's the throw from Harding. Has a man wide open. Fights through the catch. Goes for the end zone. Touchdown. That's Tristan Sadowski. Harding to Sadowski. Garden spot. Strikes first and the Spartans are on top. They had Dominic Thornton and somebody else from Elko trying to drop him before he got to the end zone, but they couldn't get there. So now here's Martin for the extra point. Harding to hold. Kick on the way. Good. 7-0. Garden spot leads. 6.48 to play. So Sadowski on the catch. He's on the roster as a quarterback, Sadowski is. On the year, 68 for 110, 778 passing yards, eight touchdowns, two picks. Kyle Harding was the man with the plan on that drive, though. Coming into tonight, 45 completions, 93 attempts, 596 yards through the air, six touchdowns, and one pick. Both quarterbacks uh, have been able to run the ball pretty well as well. Sadowski, 72 carries, 338 yards, two touchdowns for Harding. 61 carries, 367 yards, and seven touchdowns. And they can also catch two, as shown there by Sadowski, who took it in for the score. So now the Elko offense will come back out, and we'll see what they can do. Walker Martin back to kick this away. And here it comes. Line drive goes over the head of Groy. Did not touch him, it's a touchback. 
So the Raiders will come back out after, I believe it was Williams coughed up the football on that last drive. And they'll start from their own 20 yard line. First down and 10, two receivers up top. Frederick in motion, handoff again. This is Williams. Tackle by Tyler Hurst, second down and nine. Here's second down and nine. And in motion, Jackson Groy. Thomas to keep it. And he can go nowhere. Wrapped up by Tyler Gillenwater. He was the first one to get there and stuff him. With forward progress, they'll give him a few yards, though. It'll be third down and seven. Third down and seven. The first third and long that Elko has faced tonight. One receiver up top. Groy in motion. Thomas to pass. Has time. Now is to step up, and he gets met big time behind the line for the sack. Tyler Hurst there to bring him down as well as some others. Fourth down and nine. So here is the punt from Thomas. Bounces past midfield and keeps rolling, rolling, rolling back inside the 40. So Garden Spot will start this drive for the first time in their own territory, right around their own 37-yard line. Four minutes, 20 seconds to play in the first quarter. Garden Spot leads 7-0 after that quick strike after the fumble from Harding to Sadkowski. We'll see what they can do on this drive. First down and 10. Man in motion. Going to pass into the flat. This is dropped by Sadowski. Incomplete second down. Second down and 10. Two up top, one down low, plus the back here for Harding. And false start. Called on the running back. That's Joel Martin, number 22. Gives Elko free yards, backs him up five. First down, second down rather, in 15 now. going to have a discussion here, I think. Oh, 
What is going on? Are we good? Okay, now we're good. I don't know what happened. Here we go. Second down and 15. Three receivers down low. One up high here for Harding. Man in motion. Looking all over the place. Fires over to the far side. He's got room. Has a man. That's Nagel. Zachariah Nagel down inside the 25-yard line. Aiden Fritch on the stop. Nagel, 27 catches on the year coming into tonight. 496 yards and a touchdown. A big play to get Garden Spot to the other side of midfield and inside the red zone at the 20-yard line. First down and 10. Two receivers on their side here for Harding. In motion. That's Weaver. They're going to hand it off to Martin. Stopped by Luke Williams. They're going to give him, I think, eight. Second down and two, maybe one. Three fifteen to play, first quarter. Two receivers down low on a pie for Harding. Takes the snap, looks, end zone. Incomplete, looking for Sadowski, broken up by Dante Giffen. And it's third down. Third down and two from about the 12-yard line. Two receivers down low, one up high for Harding. Man in motion. Weaver, handoff, Martin. Did not get much. Let's see where they spot it. Luke Williams excited, fourth down. Fourth down and one. And it looks like Garden Spot's going to say, all right, let's go for this. If we don't get it, we're confident in the defense to hold them back. And if we get it, we get four more plays out of it. Timeout called by Elko. Two and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. Garden Spot leads this game 7-0. So, Coach Miller wanted to think about this a little more on the defensive side before we see this fourth down play happen. Here we go. Fourth down and one. Two receivers down low, one up high, Harding under center. Gonna sneak it. Got it. First down for the Spartans. That'll make it first down and goal. First down and goal from the nine. Two minutes to play. Two receivers up high, one down low. Man in motion. That's Edkowski going to fire, going for the end zone. Did he get there? Yes. Touchdown, Garden Spot. Touchdown. 
That's Derek Lambert on the catch. His fifth receiving touchdown on the season. There is a flag in the end zone. So in sportsmanlike conduct here on Garden Spot. So that'll, I believe they're just going to take this then on the kickoff. So here's the kick from Martin for the extra point. Snap, hold, kick is good. Luke Williams almost got a hand on it. He at least had penetration on the line. Nonetheless, 14-0, minute 55 to play in the first quarter. The Raiders get the ball right back. So Elko already out there running for the kick. Garden spot comes trotting out now. So here's Martin for the kick. So instead of kicking this at the 40, they will be kicking it at the 35. So it's only, huh, hold on. I think somebody realized that we screwed up. It should have been a 15 yard penalty which would put this kick back at the 25, but the ball is teed up at the 35. Not sure if you can see it on the broadcast, but the X you see at the 40 yard line, that's where the normal kickoff spot is. Now they're gonna do the math right. They'll back them up 10 more yards. So the kick will now be at the 25-yard line. Now we're all good. Kick on the way from Martin. Here we go. On the way, solid kick, going to get to the 20-yard line. Bounces off of a Raider. It's picked up by Fritch off a hop, and Fritch has room. Down the near side, past midfield, pushed out of bounds, just shy of the 40-yard line. Woo! That was the kicker that pushed Fritch out of bounds. He bounced off the leg of one of the return men. Fritch took it off that hop and scooted his way down to the 41. Make it the 40. They're going to spot him right at the 40-yard line. The Raiders will begin at the garden spot. So the Raiders now for the first time are beyond midfield and in garden spot territory here on first down. One receiver down low. Man in motion. He slips, but they hand it off anyway to Luke Williams. He grinds forward and picks up two yards. Second down and eight. Gruber on the stop. Nick it second down to nine. They're only going to give him one yard. Minute and a half to play, first quarter. Man up top, that's Jordan Hartz coming in as a receiver. Thomas. Pitches it. Going nowhere. That's Jackson Groy. Gruber there with some friends to make the stop. Third down and 12.
40 seconds left in the quarter. Might be the last play here of the quarter. Third down and 11. Thomas to pass, has time, steps up, running, has room, near side, picks up a blocker, still fighting to the 30. Did he get the first down? We'll see where they spot him. It is close. They spot him. I think he's going to be just a few inches short. Coach Miller, I think, wants a better spot. There is a flag. That's why we're all standing around here. Holding on the offense. So why did Thomas have that much room? Because there was holding. Third down and 14 now. 13 seconds left. Good crowd here tonight for Garden Spot. Way stands pretty much full. Student section, band, and all. Cheerleaders as well. All right, that's first quarter. 14-0 the score. Garden spot with the lead. Elko with third down and 14. We'll get that here in a few moments from Myerstown. All righty. So Garden Spot's ready. And Elko will be ready here soon enough. Here they come trotting out. So we swap field position. Still at Garden Spot's now 44-yard line after the holding penalty. Third down and 14 here. Two receivers down low. Thomas remains under center. In motion is Groy. Thomas to pass. Has to run for his life, and he gets dragged down at the 45-yard line. Thomas back to pass. He's tackled. I believe that was Tyler Gillenwater with the sack. And it's fourth down in Schaeferstown here. Back at the 45-yard line. I don't even want to do the math. 25 yards it is. So the Raiders got a good kick return, but can't do much out of it. Here's the punt from Thomas. Almost blocked. This is a line drive that's going to get to the first down marker and keep rolling to the 25, which is where Dante Giffen will pick it up. So that's where Garden Spot will set up shop. From their own 25. They've marched it down the field the last two times they've had the ball. Resulting in the two scores. First down 10 from the 35. 25 rather. Two receivers up high, one down low for Harding. Hands it off to Martin. Joel Martin wrapped up right away by Luke Williams after picking up a yard, maybe two, second down. Second down and maybe eight and a half here. Inside 11 minutes to play in the half. Two receivers down low. 
Got one at Pine, plus one on the end. Man in motion. They fake it to him. This is Harding on a keeper who gets dragged down past the 30-yard line at the 32. Again, Luke Williams on the stop, third down. So they faked it to Sadowski. Harding held on to it and picked up some good yardage. Third down and four. Two receivers up high, one down low, plus one on the end. Harding takes the snap. Play action, rolling, has pressure, fires, caught, first down. That's Nagel. Tackle from Stickler, first down for the Spartans. Now at the 40-yard line here. Nine and a half to play here in the half. Seems like there might be a little bit of miscommunication, but now I think we're all set here. Man in motion. That's Luke Nagel. Fires, looks that way. It is caught, but he gets dropped. Cole Thomas on the hit. Caught by Derek Lambert. That's going to back them up, though. And make it second down and 12 with forward progress. Second down and 12. Man in motion. Harding looks, fires, caught far side. Wrapped up right around the original line of scrimmage. Nagel caught it. And it was Ed Rodriguez on the stop. Third down and 10. As we close in now on eight minutes to play here in the first half. Three receivers down low. Harding rolls, fires it deep down the field. Dover thrown looking for Zadkowski. It's fourth down. And Martin will come out here to punt. First punt for the Spartans on the day. Cole Thomas is the man to return it. He's back at the 21-yard line. Whew. This one floats back to Martin. He kicks it away. We'll take about shy of the 30 and keep rolling and rolling and rolling back at the 23-yard line maybe. With 7 minutes, 43 seconds to play here in the half, 14-0 the score. Raiders will begin around the 23-yard line. It'll be first and 10. Seven forty three to play. Cole Thomas brings it back out. Two receivers down low. Under center for Thomas. Hands it off. Luke Williams. Pretty much ran into a wall there. Second down and nine. Right 
Second down and eight. Again, two down low. Man in motion, Jackson Groy. Thomas to pass, looking, pocket collapses. He gets hit. And now he finally falls down. Kind of got dug into the ground a little bit. He hops up, looks like he's all right. So with the sack that backs them up, third down and 13, maybe 14 here. They backed him up a good bit. Third down and 14, same formation, man in motion, Groy again. Passing, man in his face, throws, incomplete, looking for Fritch. It was short of the line of scrimmage anyway, so fourth down and 14. Pass was incomplete, it'll be fourth down for the Raiders. And the Raiders will have to punt. Kick from Thomas, this one gets away. Bounces back past midfield and keeps going and going and going to the 39-yard line. Dante Giffen will down it once again, and that's where the Spartans will start this drive with 5.44 to play in the half. Two receivers up high and two down low on first down. They hand it off. Wrapped up behind the line. He's going to fight forward. Fritch on the stop. That was uh, Tyler Gillenwater on the carry. Second down and nine. They are going to give him a yard. Gillenwater. 42 carries, 281 yards, three touchdowns on the year coming into tonight. Although Joel Martin has really taken a boatload of the carries, 67 carries, 417 yards, four touchdowns out of him. Similar formation, man in motion. This is Blake Weaver. High snap taken by Harding. Looking deep down the field, going to air it out. Has a man, incomplete, no flag. Thornton and Giffen on the coverage was looking for Blake Weaver, and it's third down. Just inside five minutes to play in the first half. One down low. You got three up high. Here's Harding on third down from the gun. Takes the snap. Rolls, has pressure, fires, it is dropped. Off the fingertips of Blake Weaver and it's fourth down. So the punt team comes back out and Martin will punt this thing away. And that will allow the Elko offense here to come back out. The offense is held tough. Or the defense is held tough here against Garden Spot on these last two drives. Kick on the way. Thomas takes a fair catch and will take it from about the 23-yard line. There is a flag here on the near side. Hold on. At the 26. The 
This is gonna be on, I believe, Elko here. It is. So that'll back Elko up now. How much it'll back them up, we'll find out. It'll only back them up five. It'll back them up to, uh, well, I lied. So 10-yard penalty back to the 15-yard line. That's where the Raiders will start this drive. 10-yard penalty. The Raiders will begin at their own 15-yard line. First and 10. First down here for Thomas. And in motion, that's Kreider. And they're going to give it to Groy, who gets spun down at the line. Second down. Groy on the carry, stopped by Horst. Second down and 10. No gain on the play, it'll be second and 10. Just about four minutes to play in the first half. Of course, here at halftime, the marching, uh, yeah, the marching band will come out and perform. Man in motion. Keeper for Thomas. And he gets dragged down by Joel Martin. This will make it third down. About third down and maybe four. Three and a half to play in the first half. Two receivers up top, one down low. In the shotgun here for Thomas. Has to run. This is caught by Luke Williams. Tackled by Jackson Helberg. The only problem is, is they're short of the first down marker. And I believe that means they're going to punt. Elko will go for it. Thomas under center. Thomas pushes forward. Can he get there? Garden Spot says no. They keep pushing him back and back and back. Let's see where they mark it. They may have to come and measure it. Garden stop, spot still insistent. They didn't make it. Coach Miller wants to know what's going on here. I think we're talking about dinner reservations around the football here. They're still talking about it. And Garden Spot celebrating. They say first down Garden Spot. Elko did not get there. So with 2.14 to play, Garden Spot takes back over on the doorstep of the red zone. Perhaps the best field position other than the fumble from Williams earlier on tonight. Two receivers down low, one up high here for Harding on first down. Hands it off. That's Martin down to the 20. Flag comes soaring in from the backfield. Williams on the stop. That flag had a nice arc there from the head referee. Holding on the offense. That'll back him up. Back him up 10 yards. So that holding call will back him up 10 yards. 2.07 to play. 
That'll be a 10-yard penalty. So now they're back at the 35-yard line. <laughs> 2 7 to play in the first half. First and 20 for the Spartans. Ball is on the leader, 35-yard line. And in motion from the top of your screen down to the bottom. That's Nagel. Here's Harding rolling to the right. Fires deep down the field. They will say incomplete. Looking for Luke Nagel, the senior. Could not hang on. And it's second down and 20. Second down and 20. Three receivers up high, one down low here for Harding. Plus the back behind him. They hand it off to him. Fights through a tackle. Still going. Spins out of another. Gets it down inside the 25-yard line to the 23. Third down and eight. Carry by Martin. On Williams on the stop. Assisted by Garcia. Minute and a half to play. The game of 11, it will be third and nine for the Spartans. Two receivers down low, one up high here for Harding. Man in motion. They hand it off. He's short. So Martin gets wrapped up by Rodriguez, and it's fourth down. Martin on the carry, stopped by Rodriguez. And I believe this will be the field goal unit here with Martin coming out. Walker Martin, that is. 50 seconds to play. Clock will keep ticking. And we are going to go for the field goal, but uh, first. Field goal for the Spartans. We have a timeout called a timeout. by Garden by Spot Garden first, spot. so we'll put that on hold for a moment. 43 seconds left. We do want to recognize our officials this evening. The referee is John Chet Clock. The umpire, Keith Evans. Headlinesman, Thomas Marfo. Line judge is Jeffrey Wilder. And the back judge is Brian Proctor. Again, we encourage you to support those who support Elko football. Thanks to Sunset Outlet, A.H. Boyer Incorporated, the Union House, Moser's Mat Club, Sprinkle Tractor, and White Magnolia on Main. Again, thank you for your support. Here's fourth down and three here eventually. Garden Spot back out there, ready to go. 14-0 the score, 43 seconds left. So Walker Martin will attempt the field goal. Timeout called by Elko. Timeout called by the Raiders, and we'll share a few more responses. So they've got one left. Thanks to Color Tech Creative Solutions, Justino's Pizza, Animal Healthcare of Myerstown. Myerstown VFW post 6076 and the American Legion post 880. Thanks also to Tulpe Packs and Tags, the Lebanon Federal Credit Union. All righty. J Sales Body Shop, Kathy Barry Agency. 43 seconds left. I've seen this game before played by Coach Miller. It was in a playoff game last year against Northern New York. He had all three timeouts at the end of the half. Northern York wanted to kick a field goal. He burned all three timeouts in a row. They blocked the kick. Let's see what happens here if he decides to use this last timeout. Let's see what happens. Is he going to use it? He looks like he wants to. And he is. 
All right, final timeout called by Elko. That's it. Last chance to ice the kicker here. This evening, we ask you to please turn to the team roster page to see if you have one of the winning programs. If your number is announced, please go 43 to the seconds. Table and receive your prize. Let's see what happens. Again, if you purchased a program, turn to the team roster page and see if you have one of the winning programs. So Elko's ready. They know what the plan is. Block the kick. And out will come Garden Spot from the huddle. The field goal upcoming here from Martin. It'll be Harding to hold. Martin will kick it from about the 25-yard line. Let's go. Snap, high snap, kick on the way. It is no good. Wide to the left. 38 seconds to go. And the Raiders will get the ball back. Had the distance, just not the accuracy. So the Raiders will take over from the 20-yard line. First down and 10. And he's going to hand it off. Thomas will. It's Williams at the bottom of that pile. Stopped by Whitmer. Clock keeps rolling. We hit 20 seconds. Let's see if the Raiders try and get another play off. Doesn't look like it here. 15 seconds left. I think that might do the first half. Final 10 seconds. And yeah, that's it. So Elko will just take it to halftime. Garden Spot leads 14-0 as we head to halftime. Band will come out and perform here for us that are here at the stadium. We'll be back for the third quarter. Just a little while. We'll see you then here from Myerstown.
All righty, let's do this. Second half here from Myerstown. Score is 14-0. Garden Spot with the lead. Garden Spot starts this second half with the football. So Elko will kick it. We'll get to see the Elko kicker for the first time tonight. Which should be Reese Shuey. I hadn't seen him on the sideline at all tonight, but just saw him run off, so... Looks like he's grabbing the tee, so he will kick it away for us. All righty. Garden spot's already ready to go. You've got Martin back there. And, oh, who in the world is that? Eight, it looks like. So you've got Joel Martin, and you've got Javon Martin back there for garden spot. And out will come the Raiders to kick it away. It should be Reese Shuey to kick it away. Here we go. Elko's ready. 12 minutes back up on the board. Let's start the third quarter. And Martin. And the Here is the kick. We're underway for the second half. And that's, uh, well, not Javon Martin back there. That's actually Zadkowski. Meanwhile, Here's Joel Martin, sheds through a tackle, still going to the near side, still going and stumbles to the 50-yard line where he falls down. Great return from Joel Martin. And that's where Garden Spot will start their first drive of the half. Actually, the lead is going to begin at the 50-yard line. First and 10 for the Spartans. Two receivers up high, one down low here for Harding on first down. Man in motion, Luke Nagel. Low snap, they hand it off to Joel Martin, who cuts, makes a man miss, tries to squeeze through a hole and does. Gets the first down and gets tripped up to the 31-yard line. So another first down for the Spartans. They move down inside the 30. To the 30, actually. Two receivers up high, one down low. Trying to move it forward is Martin. I think he's going to pick up five to make it second down and five. Two receivers up high, one down low. Second down and four. Man in motion. Fires. Caught far side. Still going. That's Lambert. Picking up the first down and getting it inside the red zone. Down to about the 10-yard line. Ten and a half to play. Pass completed to Lambert. That's enough for first down. It'll be first and ten for the Spartans. Two receivers up high, one down low again here for Harding, plus the back with him. 
in motion. They hand it off Martin. Martin still going. Trying to get to the end zone. Touchdown! Joel Martin did get there. His first rushing touchdown on the night. Rushing touchdown number five for him on the season. And it's 20 to nothing, Garden Spot on top. Here's the kick from Walker Martin now. Snap, hold, kick. That one is good. 21 nothing is the score, 10-10. Remaining in the third quarter. So Garden Spot marches it down the field to pick up uh, their third touchdown on the night. Now Elko's going to have a chance here to try and get some points from their own, of their own and get rid of the goose egg here from the board. So here's Martin to kick it away from the 40-yard line. On the way. Good kick. Groy will take it. Bobbles it, lost it, put it on the ground. Now takes it from his own goal line. Spins out of not one, not two tackles. Still going down the far side. Gets it to the 20 and gets dragged down at the 22-yard line. So Jackson Groy bobbled the kick and ran a mile and a half just to get it past, uh, right past where it would have gone if he took the touch back anyway. So the Raiders will start from their own 22-yard line after all of that. Just inside 10 minutes to play in the third quarter. First down and 10 from the gun here for Thomas. Rolls out. Now has room to go. He's got all the room in the world. Cuts it back. Still going. First down and more. He could go down to the 50, and that's where he will go. Dragged down by number 44. That's Jaden Redkay. First down for the Raiders. Across midfield at the 49-yard line. The biggest play for the Raiders on the night. Nine and a half to play. Here we go. One receiver up top. Back under center here for Thomas. Pitches it. Dropped. Ball is out. Who's got it? Looking for Elliott Kreider. It's second down. The Raiders get back on top of it. But that did not go as planned. They're going to lose three yards on that second down. That pushes them back on the other side now of midfield. The ball is now in the 40-yard line of the Raiders. It'll be second and 13. Under center for Thomas. This time he does feed it to Luke Williams. He doesn't go very far. McLeod and Whitmer on the stop. It's third down and about 11. Whitmer on the stop of Williams. 
the gain of three will be third and ten. The ball is now in the 49-yard line of the Spartans. Thomas will be back under center. He's got a receiver either side. On third down and 11. Takes the snap. Pitches it. That's Jackson Groy. He picks up three and gets tripped up. Fourth down. Groy on the carry. There's a gain of three. It'll be fourth and seven for the Raiders. Fourth down and maybe eight. Ball is on the Spartan 46 yard line. Here's the punt. On the way. Low kick. Bounces inside the 20. Still going back to the 10. And Alden Stickler will fall on it inside the 10-yard line. 6.48 to play in the third quarter. So Garden Spot will take back over. They hand off here. This is Gillenwater on the carry. Second down. Second down and seven. Two receivers either side. Man in motion. That's Sadkowski. They're going to give it to him. He cuts it back, tries to run through. Fritch can't get there. Third down. So Sadkowski there. Try to break through, but couldn't quite do it. Third down and three. Third down pass is caught. This is Zachariah Nagel dragging it down to the 44-yard line. The Raiders tried to poke it free. Stickler and Thomas on the stop. First down. Nice catch and run from Nagel, the 5'9 junior. Five and a half to play, just inside it now. Two receivers down low, one up high. Split backs here for Harting on first down. Sadowski, who flips it now to Lambert. Lambert going to heave it down the field, has a man, but he missed him by five yards. Was looking for Nagel on the flea flicker. Those tricky, tricky Spartans, they couldn't seal the deal, though. Inside five minutes to play, second down. <laughs> Similar formation, one up high, two down low here, receiver-wise. Only one back with Harding, man in motion. That's Weaver. They hand it off. Still going, first down and more. That is Gillenwater again, a first down. Wrapped up by Stickler. Two 
Two receivers down low on a pie man in motion. Sadowski, they hand it to him. And he keeps going, picks up six or seven, second down. Williams on the stump. Second down and five. Passing, caught, far side. That's Lambert. And that might have actually been third down now that I think about it, but nonetheless, they get the first down out of it. The stick had second down. Scoreboard had third down. My memory eludes me on when that flea flicker occurred there. I think it was before that, but nonetheless, they get the first down out of it, three and a half to play. Two receivers either side. Harding, gonna keep it. Rolling to the right, cuts it back, picks up the first down. Inside the 20, stopped by Dominic Thornton. Tackled by Thornton. Again, more than enough for the first down. Three minutes to play. Two receivers either side. Handoff. Gillenwater again picks up a few. Carry by About three, water. second down and seven. Gain of three, second and seven for the Spartans. Two and a half to play. Two receivers up high, one down low, plus the back. Man in motion. Sadowski fires, end zone, wide open. Blake Weaver, touchdown. Two fifteen to play, and Garden Spot takes a four-score lead. Walker Martin for the extra point. Snap, hold, kick on the way. And good. 28 0. 28 0, the score. Garden spot over Elko, 215 to play. Garden spot 28. Elko nothing. So I'll go back to receive, and here comes Garden Spot now out to kick it away. Here's the kick. Back to the five yard line or so, taken by the Raiders. This is Groy with a lane and gets it down past the 25 yard line. So out will come Thomas in the offense once again. With 2.09 to play. 
will be on the 27 yard line. Nobody out wide. Everybody in the box. They hand it off. Pick up three yards or so. That's Williams. Stop made by Whitmer. Second down and seven to go. Same formation. And the flags. Defense may have jumped. And they did. Noko gets a free five yards out of it. That'll make it second down and two instead of second down and seven. Minute and a half to play here, third quarter. Thomas again under center. Keeps it. Doesn't get a yard. Third down. Oh, no, it was Williams. Williams on the carry. So Williams carried it. Didn't get it anywhere. Minute left. Third down. Third down and two. Maybe a long one. Thomas under center again. And flags. False start. That was Luke Williams that jumped at third down and six. The legal procedure by the Raiders. It'll be a penalty of five yards. Third down and seven, 15 seconds left. But before we get to that point, Elko calls a timeout. They've got two left now with 15 seconds to play in the third quarter. As soon as the third quarter is over, we're going to recognize another team out there, our cheerleaders. And they'll do a short routine for us. All right, let's go. Third down and seven. Groy in motion. Passing. Has to run for his life. Incomplete. Pass is incomplete for the Raiders. It'll be fourth down. Was looking, I think, for Fritch. Fourth down. 11 seconds left. So. Yeah. 
Here's Thomas. He's going to fake it. He passes. Incomplete looking for Giffen. He had him. The pass was just a little too short. It was beyond the sticks. Great effort by Elko to try and pull something out of the hat on fourth down. But instead, it's first down for Garden Spot now at the 31. Six seconds left, so we'll get one play, and that'll end the half and the quarter. Four receivers spread out wide here. Garden Spot wants more points. They hand it off instead. No, it's a keeper. Harding keeps it going, runs it out of bounds, just shy of the 20-yard line. And that will end the third quarter. 28-0 is the score. We'll step aside. We're back for the fourth quarter in a moment. Fourth quarter from Myerstown coming up. 12 minutes up on the board. 28-0 is the score. Garden spot leading over Elko. And Garden spot just shy of the red zone. Second down and one from the 21-yard line. Two receivers on their side, man in motion here on second down. Zadowski, here's the throw from Harding as a man. It is caught. Touchdown. That's Lambert. Derek Lambert with the touchdown grab, and it's 34-0. Garden spot. Here's the kick from Martin. Snap, hold, kick. No good. Missed it to the right. 34 nothing is the score. 11.53 to play. So the Elko offense will come back out.
Here's the kick from Martin on the way. This goes into the end zone for touchback. So Raiders will take over from the 20-yard line here. One receiver down low, everybody else in the box. Kreider in motion. They have a hold. This is Jackson Croy to the near side. He's going to pick up eight or nine yards. Second down and short. Okay, well the stick says first down when it's absolutely not first down. Second down and one. How about this from the gun? Over Thomas's head. Gets it, throws it, caught. He is a man. First down and more down to the 39-yard line. That's Williams. First down for the Raiders. I think that's the first complete pass from Thomas on the night. After the high snap, too. Wow. First down and 10 from the 39 yard line. They pitch it out. This is Groy, cuts it back and gets met behind the line for a loss, second down. Second down and 11. Inside, 10 minutes left. Two receivers up high, under center here for Thomas. Man in motion, Groy. Handoff, this is Williams. And he gets stuffed. Gillenwater there to help wrap him up. Third down. They're going to give him two yards out of it, though. Second down and eight. Third down and eight. Two receivers up top, one down low. Thomas in the gun. Another high snap. Rolls to his right, has time. Now has to set his feet, and he gets sacked. Back inside the 35-yard line to the 33, and it's fourth down and a mile. Elko will have to punt. I don't think we'll see a fake on this one. Thomas to punt. Almost got blocked, gets it away. It's taken from the 41 yard line. This is Martin still going past midfield down inside the 45 yard line, I think to the 44 or the 43. Brought down inside Raider territory. 
Bolton Mudge at the Raider 45 yard line. So here's the offense under the direction of Kai Harding once again. Just inside, eight minutes to play. First down, handoff. Stuffed at the line, second down. And that's uh, Gillenwater on the carry. They will give him a yard, though, second down and nine. It's going to be second and eight. One up high, two down low. Here on second down. Harding hands it off again. This time with room to rumble. Still going. Just shy of the first down marker. Gillenwater again. Third down and one. Well, it's carried just short of the first down marker. It'll be third and one. Third down and one. Two down low, one up high. Under center. Handoff. Gillenwell. Did he get there? It's close. Let's see where they mark it. Uh, well, the stick says first down. Yes, they are going to give it to him first down. Didn't do a whole lot of looking on that one. From the 34 yard line. Handoff. That's Reuben Campbell on the carry. Second down and eight. Sorry, that was Edwin Bean on the tackle. Inside six minutes to play. One receiver up high, two down low once again. Harding. Hands it off again. This is Campbell again. Picks up two, third down and five, just about. Yeah, make it third down and six, actually. Not willing to give him the full five here. It's close. Ball is on the reader, 30 yard line. It'll be third and six. Five minutes to play. Two receivers up high, one down low. Man in motion. Sadowski, they're going to give it to him. And he gets stuffed. Fourth down. Luke Williams on the stop. And it looks like we're going to bring out Martin. I heard field goal, and I think that's what we're going for here. This is going to be a 46, a 40 plus for sure. He missed one earlier that was about 10 yards closer. That was going the other way. Let's see what happens from Martin. This is a big kick uh, for that. Uh, delay a game, no, false start on the offense. So that backs about five yards. That's going to make this a 50-plus yard field goal here. The clock is rolling, and I think they're just going to try it. So this is a 
50-plus yard field goal. 51 yards from Walker Martin, the senior. Snap, hold, kick on the way. It has the leg. It is good. He got it. 51 yards. It coasted across, but he got it. And it's 37-0 with three and a half to play. What a kick from the senior. Wow. What a night for him. And now he gets to go out and kick off. Here is the kick from Martin. After the 51-yard field goal, he gets to boot it from the 40-yard line. This is a line drive, bounces off of Groy. He has to pick it up from the goal line, and he's going to take off running. Gets it past the 10 and is tackled at the 12-yard line. Another mistake on special teams for the Raiders tonight that's going to pin him back toward the goal line with three minutes left. From the 12-yard line, first down for the Raiders. 2.40 to play. We are in mercy rule mode, so the clock pretty much keeps rolling no matter what. Thomas under center. One receiver either side. He's going to pitch it. He didn't go very far. Went backward. Second down. He did pitch it out to Williams. They lose two. Just about two minutes left, 37-0 is the score. Second down and 12. Thomas trying to hurry things up. Under center. Hand off. Charging forward. Going to get it past the 30, close to a first down. It is a first down. That's DeJesus on the carry to pick up the first down. As we approach one minute left. I think the ball may have come out. Thomas got back on top of it, I think. No. No, that's a fumble. Garden Spot has it. With 40 seconds left, clock keeps rolling. So that's that. We'll, we'll get one play here, and then that'll be the ball game. I think Thomas was the one that fumbled it, not quite sure. Inside 30 seconds. So Garden Spot comes in 
and denies Elko from scoring at all. And it's all capped off with a 51-yard field goal. Inside the final 10 seconds, this ball game is over. This season is over. Garden Spot comes away with the win, 37-0 over the Raiders. That's our season for football. We'll have more streams with basketball and the winter sports as time goes on. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm Jacob Hitz. Thank you and good night.